First few projections we're going to do for the shoulder is going to be your AP projection of the shoulder. This has three different variants that you could pull for your proficiency, either external rotation, internal rotation, or neutral hand position. You should be using a 10 by 12 inch cassette crosswise in the upright bucky. And just make sure that you have your tube and your bucky aligned. We've talked about this in class, touch the tube, touch the bucky. So just make sure that those two elements are aligned, otherwise you're not actually getting a picture of anything. Okay? So I'm going to have my patient come over. And back against the board, perfect. And I'm just going to have you actually center off to this side for me a little bit. Take a step towards your right, perfect. Left and left. Left and right, kids, I'm telling you. And you're going to be centering this just below the coracoid. If you feel on your own body right below the, um, right next to the humeral head or right below the clavicle, there's a little, it feels like a little button. Don't push it too hard on each other patient-wise when you're actually working on this because it actually hurts quite a bit if you push on it, but it should just be a little rounded prominence. You're going to be centering just below that. So I'm going to have you take one more step to the left actually. And I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. This image you're going to want to try to get from the vertebral end of the clavicle through the edge of the shoulder. And one thing to be careful of with your patients is to make sure that you're not super concerned about the soft tissue of the humerus because some of our uh, or obese patients are going to actually have extra tissue on the outside. We don't have to worry about all of that being included in the image. Just focus in on what you actually have here. So again, a 10 by 12 cassette, and I'm getting, you can feel for the jugular notch all the way over. Put your marker right in that light field so that you can see it. And then this is all you would do for neutral position. The patient is gonna rest their hand neutrally at the side. They're not gonna do anything. You're just standing very straight. You want feet um, equal distributed with the weight so that they're not leaning one way or the other. And just make sure that they're in true AP position, no rotation one way or the other because that will make it very challenging uh, for your radiologist to read. You're all going to want to pull these three because from here all you do for external rotation is I'm going to have the patient supinate their hand up. That's going to move the greater tr uh, tubercle out externally, so it's going to be on the lateral side of the humerus, and you're going to have the humeral head medially. Next one, I'm going to have you turn your hand in so the back of the hand is resting against the hip. Perfect. And that is your internal rotation that shows the lesser tubercle in profile medially. And now that greater tubercle is going to move over the humeral head. So it's just going to look like a rounded humeral head in this image. So you can go ahead and relax. But those are the first three. Those are the easy ones that you're going to want to pull. Again, just below the coracoid for your centering. You want to get from the vertebral end of the clavicle all the way through the end of the shoulder, true AP position, make sure they're not slouching, rotated, anything like that. That's the easy peasy one of this section. The next image that we're going to do is the AP oblique Gracie method. This image is in particular looking at the glenohumeral joint, so you're going to have the patient in a rotated position. I'm going to take this marker off because I'm going to actually work on her left shoulder for this image for you. So I'm going to have you just shift over, and this CR is going to be basically directly in that glenohumeral joint, so it's going to be up just a touch from your plain AP shoulder projection. Again, touch the tube, touch the bucky. Make sure that you're realigning this every time you move that tube, move the bucky. I can't tell you how many times I failed competencies out of clinical for moving one and not the other. Don't be me. So, glenohumeral joint is just on the inside of that humeral head. Um, your rotation for this image is 45, 35 to 45 degrees. And it can be kind of hard to figure out exactly how to rotate that. So the trick that I have is put your hand on the outside of the patient's shoulder and you just kind of let your thumb drop into that joint space, okay? When your thumb drops in, your nail bed, look at where that's directed. That's basically sitting in that joint space. My nail bed right now is coming off at a slight angle towards my patient's opposite side. So I'm gonna rotate my patient 
into the AP oblique position. So right now I'm working on the left shoulder so she'll end up in LPO position. I rotate that patient till my nail bed is facing out, straight out to my collimator head or to my tube. That is gonna make my joint space open. It's gonna align my CR parallel with that joint space so it can go through it and it's also perpendicular to the IR, okay? So again, starting an AP, hand on the outside of the shoulder, dropping that thumb in. You don't have to squeeze really hard, that just rests in there. Obviously, if somebody has shoulder pain, you're not gonna to wanna to be ugh, clenching on them. That would be incredibly uncomfortable. So outside of the shoulder, just drop that thumb over and then turn that patient so your nail bed is perpendicular or parallel to the CR perpendicular to the IR. So I'm gonna take the affected side's hand and rest it on the abdomen. And this image, because you're only looking for that joint space, you can really collimate in really tightly to just that edge of the humeral head and the surrounding joint space. And I would put a marker right in this light space, the left marker, because the left side's down and that's the side of interest, okay? This is still a 10 by 12 inch cassette. And again, 35 to 45 degrees rotation, it's gonna be very patient to patient, but just try that th uh, thumbnail trick and that can help you kind of get a gauge of where you're gonna to wanna to center and direct your patient.